The adage that we always say that the court is the last hope of a common man has not been ridiculed by the judiciary. It is very much clear. Look at what is happening in virtually all the elections, the governorship election that was held previously, as the judiciary has now started twatting them by nullifying governors from one state to the other. A lot of persons are so curious and inquisitive of knowing the exact plea and the exact status quo they are using to nullify these sitting governors. But it has gotten to our decks by this exposure that Bola Metinibu is currently issuing, issuing out others. At the course of this particular video, we're going to see the exposure that was made even before this recent judgment was administered towards the sacking and nullification of the sitting governor of Plateau State. This is exactly what everyone is stating. That the electoral, electoral process in this particular country is being ridiculed. How can the masses come out in their numbers, go to the electoral, uh, you know, ele their respective polling units to elect their leaders, and after they must have taken much time to do that, in as much as the federal government has mapped out money for the Independent National Commission to conduct a free, fair, and credible election, and the whole lot of money has been spent on the electoral process only for the candidates who lost will just go to judiciary, and from that particular point, they are going to get their verdict. That is the more reason why, just recently, one of the uh, prominent politicians had to say that when once you are very close to Independent National Electoral Commission, pro professionally, and more especially to pro Professor Mahmoud Yakub, yes, once you are close to him, you have your verdict of getting back power, no matter what it takes, in as much as you are even under the uh, umbrella of the APC and also the ruling party of this particular country. There is no court judgment that we are going to go contrary to your own will. That is what is happening. Just recently, the Kano State Governor Yusuf was sacked by the appeal court. Now, the Plateau State Governor was also sacked. Just the information that is getting to our desk at this point in time. That the court sacks Plateau State Governor. The Court of Appeal sitting in Abuja on Sunday nullified the election of Governor Caleb Mutfong of Plateau State recently. The appellate court, in a unanimous decision by a three-member panel of judges, held that the Plateau State Governor was not validly nominated and sponsored by the People's Democratic Party to participate in the gubernatorial contest that held on March 18. It held that all the votes that were credited to him and the People's Democratic Party after the election amounted to wasted votes. Consequently, the appellate court panel led by Justice Williams ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission to withdraw the certificate of return that is earlier issued to the sitting governor of that particular state, being the PDP uh, gubernatorial candidate. In order, it also ordered the candidate that got second majority lawful vote of the election which is the APC uh, candidate, uh, popularly known as, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Goshwen, to take back that particular position. This is exactly what everyone is stating. Now, the question is, Independent National Electoral Commission, before they would issue certificate of return to a particular candidate, then they should wait to hear the court verdict before issuing out that certificate of return. Now, they have kept that state in a daily man because the sitting governor will now start looking for a way to appeal that judgment in the supreme court all these are just making sure that the judiciary is now tantamount to give verdict to any electoral process in this particular country and this is not how democracy should be driven it is not how democracy should be driven in this particular continent bola metinimbu has just seen what transpired in one of the african countries Yes, one of the African countries where the sitting president was unseated. And he humiliated that and he congratulated him without even, you know, thinking clear and very well that irrespective of any, any fact, that sitting president did not use his power of incumbency to match on the judiciary or another, did he use it to match on the electoral process of that particular country. Now, it has now been revealed by this prominent journalist that has now revealed it to the hearing of everybody that Bola Metinibu ordered the, has ordered the judiciary on the new step they are going to take to make sure that APC takes over or virtually all the sitting governorship position in this particular country. Is this democracy? That is the question a lot of persons have continued to ask. Is this democracy? It has been revealed. And of which, look at it exactly how it has now been exposed. The agenda of APC in this particular country. 
Just recently, not too long, Jackson Ude, who is always giving us updates over the fact of what the politicians and APC are doing, right from the tribunal judgment and everything, has just stated that PDP is going to lose in Delta, in Plateau, and in Nasarawa State. They are going to lose to APC. Delta State, Plateau State, and Nasarawa State are all going to APC. For Nasarawa State, the decision earlier made by the election tribunal sacking the governor, who is an APC, would be quashed. Tinimbu has given the order to have APC take Delta, Plateau, and Nasarawa State. The courts are going to comply with the order. The governors should begin an easy strategy. We are heading to one party state. He stated it. Until Nigeria wake up, the, she the, the, the Sheginians won't stop. Yes. This, is, this has just been revealed that look at the order that Bola Metinimbo has issued to judges and they have started executing these orders because recently Kanu State Governor was nullified by the appeal court and he's heading to Supreme Court of which these judges are also, they have their, their tentacles hovers, hovering around that, that Supreme Court ju judgment. The same thing has happened in Plateau State and Nasarawa State just as he has been stated and even Delta. Before we know it, all states uh, will be occupied by the APC and it will not turn to one party system. Yes, they have virtually taken all electoral process. That is the more reason why after the electoral after the electoral process and election, they will tell you go to court because they know that if you get to court, they are going to still win in court. All these are not a way forward to legalizing democracy in this particular country. Act on the comment section. What is your take over this recent exposure that has now been exposed by Jackson Uday, stating and revealing the agenda and the order Bola Metinibu has issued to judges?